Hello everyone and welcome to the magical world of pyrography. Today I am burning on older wood slice with bark because it fits the scene I am making perfectly. I have a medieval tavern in mind, but I have too little historical knowledge, so let us call the picture Fantasy Tavern. I like the quality of my new microphone, but my volume settings were way off last time. Let us see if I can do better in this video. start with the faces. All three characters here should have very well readable face expressions to make the whole scene as clear as possible. Two guys are engaged in a lovely conversation over mugs full of beer. Presumably both are quite tipsy already. A woman comes to the tavern to ask her husband to do some household chores and gets furious seeing him drinking and idling with a friend instead of working.
have made a reference in my favorite 3D software, paying a lot of attention to the lighting. Light creates the mood of the scene and guides the attention of a viewer. The most important objects have to be brought out by light, not to be lost on the background. This concept is used not only in pictures, but also in theater and cinematography. Several things are happening in my scene here, so I am purposefully making it look theatrical. Usually, I draw highlights with my white bead artist pen brush in the end, but this time I have to use it all the time, otherwise I might lose track of all the highlights I need. The window is right behind the woman, so it gives your contouring light, which I have to define with white. The face of a young man is partially highlighted and the face of an older man has just a little bit of light around the eyes.
background is extremely important in this picture because it contains a lot of important details. Let us imagine that it is a very hot sunny day outside, but in the tavern it is pleasantly dim and cool. To achieve this effect, I must shade the stone walls quite dark to create great contrast from the light coming from the windows. I need to highlight the windows with white too. I carefully define the pattern of the windows with my spear pen. As for the walls, I am trying my best to imitate the stone texture with my spoon pen. But I must admit, I am not very good at it. Marks have to catch the eye too, so I highlighted the foam with white and made very voluminous and contrasted shading on them. All surfaces which catch the light have to be very bright, so I do not shade them at all, or just very lightly. I actually ended up highlighting them with white as well. And of course, everything around their surfaces have to be really dark. Look what depth this contrast gives to the picture.
and here is my fantasy tavern. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please support me with your likes, subscribe, click the bell button, leave me some comments too, and I'll be very happy to welcome you next week in my new video. Send you a lot of inspiration. Bye!